Good morning, let us all please stand. Let's take this moment as we turn to one another to welcome each other to our celebration of the Holy Mass. Friday of our second week of Ordinary Time, we celebrate the memorial of St. Agnes, Virgin and Martyr. Our opening hymn is number 653, The Servant Song. Will you let me be your servant? Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. We are pilgrims on a journey. We are travelers on the road. We are here to help each other walk the mile and bear the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You call apostles to serve in your name. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You are the mediator of a new covenant. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are our God. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who choose what is weak in the world to confound the strong, mercifully grant that we who celebrate the heavenly birthday of your martyr, St. Agnes, may follow her constancy in the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standard. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts, should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing, nothing I, shall I shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in a dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. 
with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord, the Lord is my, my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord, the Lord is, my, is shepherd. my shepherd. There is there nothing, nothing I shall want. want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may proclaim Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will hear much fruit, will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Agnes, a virgin and martyr. She was martyred in the late 3rd century or early 4th century, depending on uh, the source, under the Emperor Diocletian. And she was very young when she was martyred. Uh, according to accounts, she was only between 12 and 13 years old, just a little girl when she was, uh, when she was killed. And here's the, the reason or the story of how it came to be that she was martyred. When she was a young girl, she made the promise to Jesus that Jesus would be her one spouse, that she would be a spouse to Jesus. She promised to him that she would remain chaste, and she didn't want to enter into marriage. Jesus would be her spouse. And above all, she didn't want to fall into sin, especially the, the sin of the flesh. Well, being a very attractive young girl, many men sought her out. And as they came to her, she would, would resist that I'm already espoused, and she would re reject their advances. Well, it happened that one young man became very angry uh, at her because she had rejected him, and he decided to report her to the Roman authorities for being a Christian. And we have to remember at this time, during the third century, there was a lot of Christian persecution going on. And to be a Christian meant that you could be subject to torture, to punishment, and to death, to, to execution. And so when this uh, man reported uh, Agnes, the Roman authorities took her in. They punished her. They tortured her for being a Christian, a follower of Christ, and eventually they executed her. And this is how it came about that she lost her life. It was because of her commitment to Christ that she was betrayed by this uh, young man and eventually killed uh, by the Roman authorities. And that's how she was martyred. Paul says to us that God chooses the, the weak, the lowly, the foolish to shame the strong and the wise. Agnes was one of those foolish, weak, young, 
just a little girl who shamed the wise and the strong by her own commitment and her own fidelity to Christ, no matter what. She was unwavering in her commitment to Christ. May her life and her story inspire us as well to be unwavering in our own commitment to Jesus, no matter what vocation or what circumstance of life that God has called us to. May we remain faithful to Christ in all things, above all, in moments of difficulty and in moments of persecution. St. Agnes, pray for us. with the same faith as St. Agnes, we now lift up our prayers to the Father. Our response, Father, make us, excuse me, our response is, God of our calling, empower us. God, God of, of our, our calling, calling, empower us. That those called in the church to lead the people of God may have the courage to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. That those who seek God may find enlightenment and respond willingly to God's invitation to be with him. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. That young people may recognize the voice of Christ calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. The intention of this Mass is offered for Grace Alonso. We also pray for these other intentions submitted to us, for the health of Benjamin Madarang, Kim Showalter, Ian Tennant, and Enrique. We pray for the eternal repose of Charito Castillo, Estela Toledo, and Filomena Selvanera. And in a moment of silence, we lift up to the Lord the prayers and intentions of our own heart. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of our, our calling, calling, empower us. God our Father, through the intercession of St. Agnes, help us to remain faithful and resolute in our own commitment to your Son, Jesus Christ. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in the celebration of Blessed Agnes win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Agnes, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis sunt celi et terra, creatura, <coughs> hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, St. Agnes, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. On you stay. Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. The Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. The body of Christ. And we now pray in union with our brothers and sisters online, those who are homebound and those who cannot receive our Lord sacramentally today. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agnes a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. To St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 637, The Summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you?